The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Hawaii. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield to myself as much time as I may need. Gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this amendment requires that prior to the presidential permit approving the construction and operation of the Keystone XL pipeline, that it will not issue until such time that the Secretary of Energy, in consultation with the PHMSA, certify that the applicant has calculated a worst-case oil spill scenario for the proposed pipeline and has demonstrated to the satisfaction of the Secretary and the PHMSA that the applicant possesses the capability and technology to respond immediately and effectively to the worst-case scenario. Mr. Speaker, the reason this amendment is so necessary is because we are talking about a 2,000-mile pipeline from Alberta to the Gulf Coast. It can actually, according to the bill itself, it will increase the production and the pipeline will carry 700,000 to 1.290 barrels of oil in a day. This pipeline will go over important aquifers. And what we need to recognize is that the people of this great country, after experiencing the BP oil spill, expect us, expect us to address and recognize that that type of catastrophes may occur. And what this amendment does is it gives the people that assurance. I would also like to say, Mr. Speaker, that part of this amendment also gives the Secretary the opportunity to waive the requirement. If the Secretary and the PHMSA believe that the applicant has, in fact, completed a worst-case discharge scenario, then they can say that this provision is no longer necessary. So, Mr. Speaker, this is, this is really for the people. It gives the people peace of mind that, in fact, we have addressed this situation, especially when we're going over aquifer and many people's lands, 2,000 miles. Mr. Speaker, with that, I reserve the remainder of my time. The woman from Hawaii reserves her time. What purpose does a gentleman from Nebraska rise? I rise in opposition of this amendment. The gentleman from Nebraska is recognized for five minutes. I appreciate uh, the thoughts of the gentlelady from Hawaii. Uh, coming from Nebraska where it's the sand hills and the sensitive area and the Ogallala Aquifer, I want to make sure that the people in my state have the peace of mind and the confidence that the worst case scenarios have already been uh, modeled out and written into their plans. In fact, that's the whole premise of, of, of FIMSA. Uh, and so the analysis of a worst case scenario spill is already part of the application. Uh, it's part of the environmental impact statement and the supplemental environmental impact statement. Furthermore, it's demonstrated its response plan in event of the worst case discharge that the pumps will be stopped in nine minutes and the valves will shut in three minutes. So the worst case scenarios are actually part of the record so that uh, the, the entities that have to make the recommendation to the president already have that determination. Uh, then they'll use those facts and figures uh, and models to determine what to recommend to the president. Then the president can make that recommendation. So I believe that this uh, amendment is really superfluous and unnecessary. Uh, I reserve. Nebraska reserves its time. The gentlewoman from Hawaii is recognized. Mr. Speaker, can you tell me how much time I have left? The gentlewoman from Hawaii has three minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I understand what the proponent of this measure is stating. However, let us also recognize that this bill, in, in its own requirements, says that not later than 30 days after the issuance of the final environmental impact statement, the President shall issue an order either granting or denying the presidential permit. You know, we're not here to slow this up. We're actually here to assist them if this is really what they want to do. The reason why is this. If you're very familiar with the environmental impact statement process, and we are in the comment period right now, that you know that after the comment period is done, that what will then happen is that you will then be able to file challenges to the EIS itself. What this does is it then creates the opportunity to say in a challenge to an EIS 
the sufficiency of which, if it's challenged in the fact that it did not properly address the worst case scenario, that there is a process in the law itself which will permit them to say, hey, we can look at the worst case scenario. And I believe that any kind of construction project such as this, it would be the worst case scenario argument that could bring it to a complete halt. So given that, Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this amendment because it really will give the people the peace of mind. And if this is a project worthy of going forward, that it does assist in that process. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back. The gentleman from Hawaii yields back her time. The gentleman from Nebraska, Mr. Terry, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, and I just I, I, I want to give a degree of confidence that this scenario has already been set forth. This is the environmental study, uh, page 3-99, maximum spill volumes. It's already been modeled out. It's already been determined. And, and just to provide further confidence, even the EPA that wrote a, a letter a few months ago uh, did not say anything about the maximum spills and whether the responses were appropriate or not. Most of theirs was on greenhouse gases. So this issue is pretty well settled. Uh, the facts are there for the, those who will make the recommendations. And uh, I yield back and request uh, defeat of this amendment. Both sides yield back their time. The question on, is on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Hawaii, Ms. Hanabusa. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Recorded vote, Mr. Pursuant Chairman. to Clause 6 of Rule 18, further proceedings on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Hawaii, Ms. Hanabusa, will be postponed. <laughs>